Hello, my lovelies. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is going to be your weekly. We're going to do it from uh, this week all the way through the end of October. So whenever you happen to find this, let's see what your messages are and how you raise your vibration this week. All right. Spirit and your spirit team want you to know that you are not alone. No matter if you feel alone, know that you're not. You have ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, source energy, friends, family. It's all trying to tell you that you are not doing this battle alone. So see the bigger picture. And if you need support or you need a friend, reach out to those people in your life and ask for what you need. Remember that forgiveness brings freedom. So Spirit's trying to show you that you need to open your heart chakra and that this is an important lesson in letting go. So I feel like it's time to release something that's kind of had you in bondage, something that's held you back, something that's limiting you in some way, shape, or form. Can you release those things this week and shift your vibration for the positive? Raise your vibration. It's a mantra that calls me to light up. Are you operating at all eight cylinders? Are all of your chakras aligned? Are all of your chakras fully functioning? Why aren't they? You might need to do a little bit of work to do that. So those are some of the things that um, I'm going to be offering in my spiritual gifting classes. So if you guys are interested, shoot me an email on that for more details. But this is all about coming into alignment and getting that energy to flow. If we're stopping it somewhere, then things aren't flowing. So we want to shift things for the better. You can simply say, I wish to raise my vibration. You can say it over and over again. And you can repeat, raise your vibration is a mantra that calls me to light up. So sit there, imagine your feet, root, your feet, your feet rooted deeply in earth. Okay, that's the first thing you want to get deeply rooted or grounded in earth. And then slowly start to envision all of your chakras like the color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. That's all seven of them up the spine and start imagining them as a bright color and it is a spinning little ball of light or a wheel. And if it looks cloudy to you with your eyes closed, that might need a little bit of work. If it looks like it's spinning super fast and it's a really bright color that should be there, then it's probably doing what it's supposed to. So practice those a couple of times a week and see if you don't have some good results. My aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. So let's see what those opportunities are that you are magnetically attracting this week. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, show me what they need to know from now until the end of October. What is their message? Ooh, okay. So we definitely have the need to stop spying. I feel like there's a lot of curious energy here. Someone might be spying on you. You could be spying on them. It is air sign energy here with the page of bones. Or excuse me, fire sign energy with the page of bones. So I feel like this person could be watching you from a distance. And partially because I feel like they're cut off from you in some way, shape, or form. So energetically, they could be cut off. Uh, you might have blocked them on things like social media. But I feel like this person is somehow still spying on you. So there could be some news or revelations that come to light this week. I also get the sense that um, this person feels very alone. They feel very trapped in a certain situation. And so that would kind of want them to gossip a little bit or be very curious. And so I feel like this person is somebody that you definitely know. The Hierophant tells us that we're working on our spiritual growth and ascension and also working towards marriage and commitment. Things like traditions. Does that work for you or is that bondage for you? Is that something that you want as traditional things or are you the person that tries to break the mold and try new things? It's going to be different for each of you. There is the potential for some new jobs or employment coming in. I feel like for some of you, this might start out as a hobby and turn into an actual job or career. So that's interesting. But the page of Pentacles is about your goals. What are they? Especially financially, what are they? Practical matters, finances, uh, education, um, definitely creature comforts, things like that. What are those goals? Do you have things that are in motion? Do you need to start planning or setting some new goals? 
I feel like whatever it is does lead to a lot of um, positive changes, emotionally fulfilling things, abundance coming in, and this comes out with my aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. So not only are you going towards something that is emotionally fulfilling, but potentially it could also be lucrative financially. What else do they need to see? All right. So we've been juggling a lot and we're going to need to find some balance. Maybe you do have to cut somebody off because it's just too much to handle right now. Don't feel guilty. You've got to prioritize your own mental health most of the time over everybody else's needs. Why? Because without it, you're not functioning. So it's important that we let something go in order to find, restore, or create the balance. Ooh, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, you're working towards marriage and commitment. But I feel like there's also something in your heart that needs freedom in order to get to this. So I do feel like for some of you, you're working towards, um, you know, traditional marriage or traditional commitment. But I also feel like you're looking for like the missing piece of the puzzle. You're looking for that emotional um, sustenance is the word that spirit's giving me. Like there needs to be what is the right word? There needs to be this all encompassing. Um, it needs to fit well. And I feel like without that, it's just not working. So spirit wants you to be not pessimistic, but shrewd and that you need to actually eliminate the things in your life that are hindering your growth and progress forward. Be a little cold if it's not the right person or opportunity. Say what's on your mind. You could definitely be going towards commitment. We have the king and queen of swords here. We have the ten of cups. We have the hierophant. So I do think that for some of you, you're going towards a commitment with somebody. Could be somebody who's very like you, another air sign. Um, but I do feel like this person completes the things. They would understand you, definitely. But you could also be very much at odds with each other from time to time being so much alike. So important that you don't overthink things, that you get to the bottom of it, make clear decisions. There could be some shadow work that helps you to go towards a new commitment by letting go of the past. And that takes immense strength in order to overcome these challenges. But it's nothing that you can't do. You're strong enough. I do feel like you have a few options when it comes to love. So really choose wisely. You want to make sure you know who and what you're getting involved with, especially if it's marriage. And I feel like something's keeping you up at night, either these lonely feelings, overthinking, stressed out about situations or people. So we need to have some boundaries and we need to stick to those boundaries. And that's also going to require strength, but it's also going to get us to what it is that we want. Let go of the conflicts. Remember, there could be some competition. There could be arguments going on and you need to start planning for the future. So what needs to go in your life in order to get you to that next level? There are positive changes that are coming in for you by the end of October, but I feel like you have some inner work to get there. The good news is on the other side of that, you have the possibility of marriage. You have the possibility of a fresh start. You have the possibility of breaking old cycles and completing things that aren't serving your highest good. So you become a magnet for golden opportunities. The sun is literally seen as the happiest card in tarot. So don't let all of the sadness that you've experienced lead into your future. You want to break those cycles and leave those things behind you because the future is starting to look a whole lot brighter. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you soon.